Hi, I'm Tim Wilmot, watercolour painter and tutor. I organise regular online watercolour workshops and this is a compilation of attendee paintings from my May 2021 online workshop. So nearly every month, watercolour enthusiasts from all over the world join me for a couple of hours paint-along experience where I do a step-by-step -step demo and answer your questions along the way. So last month we painted this scene, this river scene, uh, based on a photograph. Uh, well, this photograph has uh, been shared to me by Patreon friend Duncan. And it's a Cambodian Vietnamese river scene with a sampan boat there, a figure rowing away. Nice reflections in the water, a bit of movement of those reflections in the water from the, uh, from the oars there. Quite a sort of complicated background with those uh, buildings and the riverbank itself. Lots of things going on in the riverbank, posts, foliage, um, this old boat here as well. This boat sort of partially beached up on the, on the shoreline. But it's mainly about those reflections and trying to paint in a, quite a simple boat, a figure, but also trying to look at these reflections and get some kind of uh, uh, an impression of the the water, its colour. It's I guess it's sort of fairly silty water. And if you look at these reflections, they look it looks like there's a lot of debris or silt in the water. So we've got that kind of colour of reflection. Bright sky, not blue, but it's bright. Bit of sunlight coming from the from the right hand side. And these movements, uh, the movements of the, the water reflections behind the boat. So that's the source photo. Thanks again to Duncan for sharing that image. And then uh, this, this was my practice sketch before doing the workshop. Uh, let me get to my demonstration paintings. This is what I did on the day. <clears throat> so um, kept fairly true to the scene with the horizon, I guess, being about a third of the way down the page. So giving me plenty of space to concentrate on these reflections. Background, fairly simple, trying to catch a light with the right hand side of some of the buildings, very loose rendition of the foliage of the trees. Quite a simple um, painting of that, that old boat that's ditched up on the, uh, pitched up on the shoreline. And then the boat itself, figure with these oars that are sort of crossing, they're, they're sort of crossing the figure in front, going at an angle into the water. Reflections, let me just see if I can zoom in. There's reflections in the water. And the colour of the reflections as well. So hopefully getting in that, um, that sort of silty colour uh, of of the reflections themselves. And then underneath the boat, there are some soft, dark reflections as well. Again, thinking about the light coming from the right-hand side, um, that there as well. So uh, I'll be going through these attendee paintings one by one, giving a short critique, uh, just a short bit of feedback on each one. Um, please, what I say is just my own opinion of course uh in art um, everyone's got a different interpretation and everyone's got different styles i do encourage people to use their you know go along with their own styles and you don't necessarily need to um, need to copy me and also everyone's photograph when people take a photograph they're painting they can be taking that photograph on different devices some some nice cameras maybe others not so nice and uh, so, so the lighting conditions will be different and um, the, the quality may be different in some of the attendee paintings. Now, if you want to take part in future events, you'll see my events listed on the Crowdcast platform. So go to crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot. There you'll see uh, details of this workshop that you can replay and still take part in and get a critique from me, but also the up and coming workshops as well. Um, next month, we are down the farm. 
a UK countrywide scene. So uh, check that out. Go to crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot. So let's get on to the attendee paintings. First up then, Amy. Uh, yeah, very nice. We've got the movement in the water there, certainly behind. Uh, good composition. I love the the colour of your foliage, the greens you've got, uh, and also different um, shades of green, a nice light green there, darker greens. Um, nice simple background of the buildings. Good figure. Maybe the hat just a tiny bit too big, but good figure uh, and great reflections. Yes, and maybe with those reflections also perhaps trying to have... Um, a more of a rounded brush to make some of those reflections, but they're very, very nice indeed. Thanks, Amy. Next up is Barb. Oh, a bit more of a coolish um, scene to this. Nice composition. You've moved the horizon a little bit higher, which I think works. We've got a lot of space then for the river. Uh, I think with those reflections, Barb, maybe have the reflections as they come towards us the waves will be a little bit thicker um thin and narrow in the in the background but a little bit thicker coming towards us but good job on that figure certainly got a, a sense of movement there thanks very much barb barry oh i like that figure and you you've got the boat just slightly more well, in the in the middle of the composition, which I think works well. I suppose you've given yourself a bit more space for the reflections um, going behind the boat. So, yeah, very nice placement of figure. Lovely, lovely figure as well, Barry. Got a bit of the, the face um, facial uh, detail showing. Nice um, background as well. Uh, darkest, you've gone for a darkest sky. Lovely brush marks for the foliage. Uh, with the reflections, perhaps they could be a little bit more elliptical, just concentrate on the shapes of those reflections. But you've got some nice soft reflections in there as well. So well done, Barry. Thank you. And Bromwyn. Uh, yeah, very cool. Um, nice and loose with that background. I love that tree there, Bromwyn. Beautiful tree. Uh, the way that you've you've used watercolor, a bit of granulation on the colors there as well. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit more. Uh, good figure. Perhaps there could be a bit more movement in the reflections. It's uh, maybe a little bit too solid with the reflections. Perhaps there could be a few more gaps and try and try and keep um, some of these waves a little bit more horizontal as well. But good job. I like it. Um, Excellent figure and boat. Well done, Bronwyn. Uh, Bruno. Well, your boat's a little bit longer. And I, I think that, that's really nice. We, we, in fact, we had a discussion on the on the actual demonstration. Trying to, I, I painted the figure first one. And I, I was thinking, well, if that figure was lying down, how many how many figures could I get into that boat? And I think we came to about something like two and a half or something like that. So you're... Your boat, I think, is, is just the right length for that uh, figure. Yeah, good sense of movement in the in the reflections. Just be careful with a little bit of overworking of some of the water reflections there. But I like the colours, bit of granulation happening on that boat. Um, yep, yeah. uh, trees in the background. Just be careful. I'm not sure if your effect of the lighter tree trunks and then the <clears throat> excuse me just a little bit of a, a dark um you've you've looks like you might have um gone in with a smaller brush and just painted the outside of the tree trunks not sure if that works probably be best just to leave them um plain and light um yeah like it well done bruno thank you and calvin Ah, uh, this is very nice, Calvin. I like it. This Calvin's um, <laughs> Calvin always manages to sneak in the lady with the hat, um, which we have done here. Um, excellent, 
maybe the boat looks like it's going a little bit uphill from um, a sort of orientation perspective point of view. It could have been a little bit, um, I think it would have looked a little bit better being more horizontal, Calvin. But I like your style, clean, crisp, um, very simple background, very good wash of the sky, lovely, uh, lovely colours. Uh, we've got a little bit of movement in the water. You've used more of a dry brush mark there, perhaps a bit more water on the brush, like these reflections on the left-hand side. To me, they're better reflections, uh, but well done for including your figure again. Um, Carol, like the colours, that, that figure really stands out. Um, yeah, the, the and the, the background buildings are superbly drawn. I, I like the, the crisp, clean style of those. Uh, perhaps um, I would not have so many of the little white, maybe gone over the um, uh, the right-hand side of the tree trunks with some white paint. So I, I probably wouldn't do that so much. They're, those tree trunks are going to stand out anyway. Um, reflections, reflections. So there's a bit of movement there. Um, we can see behind the boat. Uh, are we missing an oar? Perhaps there could be just another uh, darker oar in there rather than just the one. Um, yes, I think with the reflections, maybe they're just a little bit, a tiny bit overworked in places, but. You've got you've got a really nice scene, and those black background buildings are superb. Well done, Carol. Another Carol here, Carol M. Yeah, different style. I think with the river back the shoreline, there's just it, it slopes a little bit down to the left there. It might have it might have looked better if we'd have had more of a a sort of um, horizontal shoreline there but i like the colors that you've got in uh, you've you've handled reflections in a slightly different way which i think works you've you've got lots of colors in those reflections as well i like it the warms and cools uh, perhaps the figure is a little bit overworked and that all might be a little bit too thick as well and avoid maybe adding in those darker lines around the out the, the, the outline of the oil, it, it doesn't really need it. It's light and it might sort of emphasize it too much, make it a little bit too thick. Uh, trees, I well, I think that that shape there on the right-hand side, that is a better tree than these. These look a bit too sort of circular, but I like the colors that you've got in there, the blues and the greens, and we can see a little bit of light through them as well. Um, that tree's nice with those those dry brush marks. So well done, Carol. Uh, Kathy. Oh, talking of trees, I love these trees. My eyes have immediately gone to, well, particularly these trees on the left for some reason. I like them a lot. Very, very nice. Uh, yeah, it's nice and light. Um, good range of values, though. We've got some nice darks on the water's edge. Uh, very nicely drawn boat here. A uh, bit of movement in the water, I can sense as well. Um, shoreline. Yeah, I suppose the shoreline works. I'm not sure what's happening here, just behind the boat, whether there could be maybe a darker line here um, or a little bit lower, a little bit. The shoreline could be a little bit lower. That figure, superb, nice light coming across it. The you can feel this figure um, struggling and and working hard on on rowing forwards. Yeah, lovely. Well done, Kathy. Thank you. And next up is Celia. Uh, so I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. With the photograph, we've got a little bit of shadow over the sky there where it might have been might have buckled a little bit so I think we'd have to imagine this painting I'm sure this painting is a little bit lighter than the photograph shows good composition 
Uh, nice colors on it as well. Good foliage colors. With the reflections, try and get those watermarks a little bit thicker. The, the width of the reflections a little bit thicker, wider coming towards us. So these thin lines may be, that would be in the background, have, have some bolder marks um, coming into coming towards us but I like the figure we've got a bit of movement as well with that figure and the some movement in the reflections behind good job on the foliage the trees also especially that tree on the right hand side well done Celia Cheryl I was quite quite like this one Cheryl I, I think it could have it, it could have worked better with some darker values in there. Maybe the trees are a little bit too light. Uh, and the brush marks that you've got in the tree, I like them, but they're not... I mean, the, the trees, I think, on the left-hand side are a little bit better than these, these here. It looks like um, there's too many sort of dabs of the, of the brush. So get darker with those trees, I would say. Uh, the placement of the boat, though, very nicely drawn boat, good figure. The hat, just a little bit too big, could be a little bit smaller. And we've got the reflection in the water. With reflections, try and avoid going in twice as well. It would look a lot fresher, uh, uh, Cheryl, with um, just going in once. Um, yeah, very nice. Ni a nice and light um, version of it. Thanks very much, Cheryl. And Ching, yeah, I, I like the, the the boat that that movement, the reflections just behind the boat there. I like that a lot. Now you have gone over your reflections maybe a couple of times here, and I think you've got away with it. Um, I, I can sense here, you know, you've gone in with a lighter reflection color than then I guess when that's dry, you've gone in with a darker color. So we can see that on in the bottom right corner there and a little bit um, this side of the boat. But I like all the colors that you've got into those, those water reflections. Very good balance to the picture. Uh, you've, you've emphasized the, um, the, the size of the figure. The hat might be just a little bit too big and a little bit too high on the, on the face there. Um, yeah, very nice and good second boat on the shoreline. Well done, Ching. I particularly like those reflections. Well done. And Dab, hopefully I got the name right. Yeah, I like the blue. We've got a little bit of blue um, on that boat and then it's repeated in some of the doorways or the fronts of buildings. I like that. Uh figure now that hat could be a little bit more the top of it could be a little bit more at a sort of right angle so it looks like it's a little bit too shallow so so think of the hat a little bit more like that um but good figure though watch the reflections just a tiny bit overworked and also um as i've mentioned before and as i've probably mentioned a few times try and make the Reflections a little bit thicker coming towards us. I like the movement in the trees, though, as well. Um, I like the way that you've done the trees. Yeah, and a nice sort of yellowish um, bright sky. Uh, well done, Dab. Thank you. And Daniel. Right, very loose here. Uh, I would say just ease off on some of that white paint a little bit. But I like your style. You've really gone for it. And um, yes, nice and loose. Um, you've got, you've got the, the, the sense of movement in that figure. Um, the trees uh, uh, maybe have got a little bit too much white paint. In, but I like the way that you've, you've done the trees. The reflections, 
Uh, maybe there's too many reflections for the size of the painting. So, um, and also with some of the gaps in the reflections, it would be more solid, the, the reflections would be more solid um, going towards the bank. But I like the style, nice and loose. Yep, well done, Daniel. And David C. Nicely framed as well. Uh, it always makes a difference, doesn't it, when you when you frame a scene. Um, now, those buildings in the background, they look a bit too perfect. They need to be roughed up a bit. Um, we, we need to... Um, maybe not be so precise with the those lines on the on those tars there. Uh, composition is good. Reflections. Now with these reflections, again, try and have a bigger brush, wider reflections coming towards us, and less um, less of these sort of curved marks that you've got. That sort of that curvature of the marks there as well, David. It would be better if you had more horizontal 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 lines rather than that sort of curve but like the boat movement as well with those little rings of uh, of waves little waves behind the boat yeah well done thanks so much david and another david here says david i or david david l uh now the photograph might be a little bit out of focus but we can see what's going on another loose one like the colours, the the figure really standing out there. That figure, that light against the darker background, which I, I know I mentioned in the workshop. That hat and it's a, the hat is a small part of the overall painting, but it needs to be got right with its shape and the it being light against a darker background. It certainly makes a little bit more impact. But I like the the light that you've got on the right hand side the, uh, the 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 back of that figure good boat as well um reflections maybe a tiny bit overdone and i wouldn't use that white paint um i know i use a little bit of white paint on my demo but uh i, I probably wouldn't use it for certainly um any of those waves in the river uh what else trees yeah, very loose. Uh, with the buildings, I would probably use a smaller brush for some of those windows. They're just a little bit more of a, those rounded edges. Or a brush with a sharper edge, uh, or a, a better point would work um, a little bit better so that you don't have these, these sort of rounded edges to some of those shapes. Well done, David and Dennis. uh yeah nice and loose I, I like the background we haven't got that contrast of the hat against the background but i like i like what's going on here dennis that those sort of transparent layers that tree on the right hand side against the um the blue of the the building behind it uh maybe a little bit overworked on the left hand side here particularly on the river bank like the colors good reflections good job on the figure and the boat as well yeah well done dennis thank you very much uh, diane a nicely uh framed picture again you've you've got in those power lines which i was sort of a debating whether i'd put in those lines but i think that really works that uh, to that sort of repeating line above the 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 strong horizontals that we've got the houses the river the the, the water line um nice trees as well i prefer these trees here lovely bit of um blooms happening and cauliflowers yeah very nice uh, good movement with the reflections in the water, like the figure also. Nice bit of light hitting the rear of that figure. Uh, possibly we could have a little bit more of the water without reflections, um, particularly in this bottom left corner, thinking about where those trees are um, and 
so so looking at the the upper part of the picture and then thinking well where would those reflections be maybe something like that excuse my crude drawing but down here perhaps a little bit lighter for me that would work a little bit better but good reflections lovely painting and i, I particularly like those those trees there diane thank you zoom back out right and doris yeah you now you've got um we've compared to compared to um diane before we've got a little bit more lighter space down there i think that works really well nice reflections perhaps we we don't have that sort of swirling ring of water we've got a little bit going on there doris but we, we could have perhaps um emphasized that a bit more or some waves coming out from the boat the boat's going just a little bit uphill a tiny bit could be um slightly more horizontal i think that would work better but lovely background let's get rid of that lovely background um light sky Not, i like the way you've done the trees especially like that tree on the right hand side nice foliage color yeah uh could it could it do with a few more verticals just a few more posts maybe um in, on the shoreline there could be anything um power lines or aerials come off the the rooftops just to just to add a little bit more interest there but well done doris thank you and eileen let me just zoom into this one a bit more sometimes my zooming in works sometimes it doesn't oh, i like the orange um, jacket on the figure yeah that really makes it um stand out I like it um Nice composition. I like the way that you've done the buildings in the background. Nice attention to detail. With the trees, try not to make them too perfect, too sort of like a lollipop. So um, just think about the, the overall shape of the canopy of the tree. Uh, reflection. Now, these reflections, perhaps there could be, with your brush, it would work better, I think, if we had more horizontal marks rather than some some marks going almost vertical like you've got down down in this area here um these are better towards the shoreline i like the colors that you've got into the reflections They're very nice yes well done eileen and particularly like that figure well done and Fausia, 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 uh, yeah, but might be going down here. Oh, I think this photograph I can see there in the top left corner. I can see the angle, so it, I'm sure this photograph is at a, a slight angle, and that shoreline would be a little bit more horizontal. Um, so nice composition. I think the hat's a bit too big. Boat could be a little bit longer as well. Uh, it's a little bit too short and try and avoid um, a bit of the overworking of the buildings in the background the shoreline try and make it a bit more random not have so many of these little these vertical marks there um, i think it's down to observing the scene and trying to think just spending a bit of time looking at the scene and thinking at how you might render that scene also some of the reflections i like the reflections on the right hand side but over here on in the middle and then over on the left hand side just a little bit too thin and, and slightly overworked and we do need a bit more of a um, a lighter area there in that bottom left corner i think yes yeah, so just concentrate on your boat shapes there and and just try and avoid a tiny bit of overworking uh fiona well, we've got a lot of little swirls of water going on behind this one. This this figure is is certainly working hard, getting getting up or down up or down the river. Uh, perhaps a tiny bit too dark. I'm not sure if it's the photograph, but a little bit too dark on the foliage on the bank. And and 
these windows and doors of the building stand out a little bit too much. They could be, perhaps they could be a bit higher. They look as if they're a little bit too low compared to the waterline. I like the transition though from the, from the, from the riverbank to the shoreline. You've got a nice soft edge there. Very nice reflections. Yeah, these, these are very good reflections. Good figure. That hat's just perfect. Yeah, so I think you get top marks so far for these, the movement in the river. Well done, Fiona. And Francisco, uh, quite light. Not sure if it's a photograph. Quite light on this one. Um, very cool as regards the colours you've chosen. The, the figure, though, and boat, superbly drawn and painted. Nice movement of um, the reflections behind. So perhaps a, it could do with a slightly warmer colour in there somewhere. I know you've got a bit of a warm colour with the the figure's um, legs, but uh, if there was a bit of red in there somewhere, that might um, just just sort of add an extra dimension to it. I like the way they've done the trees. Background buildings, nice and simple. Yeah. Nice reflections. Well done, Francesco. And Franz. Another loose one. Actually, I actually quite like that figure. I know I know the hat isn't that sort of typical conical shape with the the pointed um, top to it. But I quite like it. Uh, not sure if there's a little bit of white paint being used here, but I think you got away with it. Those reflections, I don't think we've pulled off those reflections too well. I think there needs to be more the reflection needs to be more solid towards the riverbank and maybe a little bit more movement in some of these reflections, particularly on the right-hand side. But I, li I like the colours. And also the things that watercolour does, you put in that blue there and it's leaked into that green. Uh, I, I like that a lot. And and these, these trees as well. Uh, maybe the, we could have less of these darker marks for the windows in the background there, Franz. Don't think it needed that a little bit too dark there in the background but that that figure's nice just the pose that figure slightly hunched over yeah well done uh gisella nice movement of the water behind the boat uh nice colors maybe i would have less of the these whiter marks showing on the riverbank. Uh, and that boat there maybe needs to be a tiny bit darker and sort of merge it into the, the foliage, have, maybe have some of the foliage coming over the boat. Lovely figure though, good boat, nice reflections, nice and loosely done. Yes, well done, thanks. Gisela and uh, Gisela, whoops. Got gone too far forwards there onto Henk. Gisela. Oh, I like I like the colour in those in these reflections. Maybe too many these little lighter marks, particularly towards the riverbank, could be a little bit more solid. But I love that colour. Um and the movement as well behind the boat. The the actual hat, that light hat is merged into the light on the back of the figure, I think that works really well also to, to emphasise the brightness of the light coming coming in from that right-hand side. Nice shadow underneath the boat. Yes, well done. Maybe these softer waves here didn't work too much. I think with those waves, whatever colour you've used for the water, maybe just go in a slightly darker, thicker version of that, less water, um, there's a little bit too much of a blue or a green creeping in there. Uh, but lovely scene. Nice trees as well. Uh, but there, there's that, the colour of the reflections and you've got the movement. The colour of the reflections, particularly very nice. Well done, Gisela. Let's just zoom back 
out. And of course, Henk. Uh, right, these reflections could be a little bit, again, a little bit more solid towards the water's edge. Have these reflection, um, the, the widths of the reflections a little bit narrower, further away from us, thicker coming towards us, and try and get in those essentially horizontal marks rather than um, too many sort of verticals. So just uh, practice those waves, the, 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 the reflections a little bit more. Um, we've got a bit of movement going on behind that boat. We've got a good, good, good boat as well. Uh, again, avoid this whiter, um, this whiter bit at the base of the figure, and the hat's just a little bit too, a little bit too big. But well done, Hank. Thank you, Isabel. Okay, um, yeah, it's quite a, a light one. You've got the uh, the buildings uh, in the background quite low. Um, I think they, I think they would um, suffer from a little bit of flooding if the uh, river, uh, if the river level rose a bit. But I, I like the 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 way that you've done the boats, the actual transition of the boats into the water, particularly this one up on the on the river bank, lovely. And then this this boat, really well uh, drawn, just the right size, and that figure as well. Uh, Good movement in the reflections, Isabel. And trees, yeah, I, I like the trees. And uh, they're not um, too sort of perfectly symmetrical, uh, especially like that one on the right-hand side. Yeah, uh, very nice indeed. Thanks, Isabel. Jackie. Right, so I'm not sure if the reflections work for me. Maybe a little bit um, overworked. They could be perhaps a little bit darker than the watercolour, Jackie. Like the background, though. Nice and loose. Good um, good foliage colour also. Um, with the figure... No, the figure's good. I just thought, it, does that figure look like it? It's sort of walking a bit, but it, I guess the figure's trying to put a little bit of weight on the right leg, maybe, and using a bit of leverage from the left uh, left leg. So that that um, that all sort of makes sense. Yeah, just um, the reflections aren't quite right, and just be careful with. I think there might be a tiny bit of white paint in there, so just be <clears throat> just ease off on the on the uh, white paint a little bit um, there, Jackie. Um, yeah, but good, good, uh, a nice effort and, uh, really certainly loose in the background. Well done, Jackie. Uh, Jen. Uh, yeah, you've, you've gone more for a, a fairly thick river bank. It's a tiny bit overworked here, Jen, a, a little bit that river bank and some of the trees. So just try and keep it fresh maybe the paint not so thick i like the figure uh, legs might be a little bit too short uh, but the boat's a good size the oars that you've got you've got the movement in the in the river as well nice bit of light coming through that um the area behind the boat that works really well yeah uh Yes, it's a little bit overworked in this middle bit, I guess. Perhaps um, just just using a, a smaller brush a little bit too much in that area. But apart from that, nice composition. And yeah, you did a good job on the reflections there, Jen. Uh, Joy. Oh, really? That figure, even though maybe, maybe the riverbank could be a little bit darker... Um, than the figure just to make it stand out a bit more. Uh, that figure's got a lot of movement. You really feel the effort that's being used to oar the boat forwards, to, to uh, row the boat forwards. 
like the reflections, particularly the reflections uh, of in the middle here and of the figure. Uh, I'm just sort of standing back a little bit now. They work, work really well. And that little lighter, that lighter gap between the boat and where the reflections start that you do feel you've got this sense of this boat um, thrusting forwards. Yeah. And get nice and light in the background, kept it fairly loose and simple. You haven't really bothered with that boat, didn't need it, to be honest with you. Um, I was kind of 50-50 whether to put that boat in. I mean, the main the main um, story about the figure. Yeah, so excellent figure and reflection of figure as well. Very nice. So well done, Joy. Next up is Joy. I need to zoom in a little bit on this. I said earlier, some some photographs come in come into me small sometimes large and <laughs> you you can't tell uh, but we can sort of see what's going on the trouble with with zooming in on a small picture is we lose some of the definition a bit but um now i these reflections i quite like that the way that you've got a little bit of warmth in there pinks greens from the foliage so whilst it's not um a copy of what the source photo showed us with those reflections. I think that really works. Maybe the 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 roof line of the buildings in the background are just a little bit too perfect. If there were some a little bit further, some higher up, some lower down, that would work better. Lovely sky, Joyce. Yes, um, a different take on reflections, but you've got uh, you certainly got the sense of that river and the this sort of silty um, colour of the water as well. Yeah, let me just go back to the right definition. Okay, uh, thank you, Joyce. Carter? Yeah, I like it. Um, those reflections, brilliant. Um, the colour of those reflections, that movement behind careful with this white <laughs> careful with this white paint again uh i don't think i did it on my demo but i, I, I know some people have um put that in just to uh sometimes you can get away with it sometimes you can't i think when it's dry when white paint is dry it sort of shows up it looks a bit sort of like thick pasty toothpaste or something and um it doesn't quite look right um well, I like that you've got a good range of values. That hatch really pops out against that darker background. Um, and the blues, uh, the nice sort of um, repetition of that blue, almost like a blue lavender type color. Yeah, nice reflections, good figure, good boat. Well done. Cut, Kada, Kada. I always, I do apologize. I always get your name wrong. I'll, I'll get it right one day. K. Now, Kay, we've, this is a different aspect. It looks like, I like it. We've got, we've got the, a line going like that. We've got the um, water's edge going a little bit like that. And we look as if we're slightly above the figure, a little bit higher perhaps than, than I did it or some of the others. And we're looking down. I think that really works almost as if we're on a, we're on a larger boat, sailing past, overtaking this figure, and um, looking down on, looking down at. Maybe some of the reflections are a little bit over, and I think the angle of some of those reflections, these here, going going down from top right to bottom left. I just think if they, if they were a bit more horizontal, like these here, that would work better. Like the way you've done the foliage, K. Those light lime greens, um, different shades of green, really does um, create a bit of impact with the the darker, uh, the darker shadows and the darker buildings behind. Yeah, so I think I think the the angle that you've got that riverbank and you've got a bit of a ramp going on here as well. So we've got the boat, then the got the main rowing boat, the sampan, then we've got the boat on the riverbank, and then that little little ledge there. Um, maybe a little bit empty on the right hand side if we if I imagine 
that boat was more over to the right because there's not much happening on the right hand side. It's quite light. Um, but I, re I really like this one. Yeah, fan fantastic. Well done, Kay. Uh, next, Kazim. Yes, very nice. Oh, I like now you've you put a little bit of sort of fishing net or something over the boat. Uh, a nice um, added bit of detail. Good figure. Uh, you've you've gone for the lighter top and um, sort of red um, slacks or trousers. Yeah, very nice. Uh, that boat on the river bank, very good as well. Nice greens. Uh, Good trees. I like this one, Kazim. Yeah, and the reflections, maybe reflections just a tiny bit overworked, or perhaps the brush could have been a bit bigger, uh, particularly on the waves coming towards us. But I like the way that you've got in these lighter waves. Do you see there in the bottom left corner that sort of elliptical shape? Yeah, and uh, the a little bit of movement, little sort of swirling of the waves behind yep fantastic well done kazim kimberly uh now i think maybe that this photograph is a little bit too green i i just sense with the background beyond it there's a greenish sort of hue to um this but i like the composition ah oh, looks like there's a little bit of a conversation going on between the the person in the boat and maybe somebody in the doorway there, they're having a bit of conversation. Um, yeah, uh, nice, as I say, nice composition. The trees, don't make the tree trunks too thick. Um, if that's, if I think that's the tree trunk there, it's a little bit too thick. Uh, these these narrow ones um, are a bit more effective. Lose some of the white space as well within the canopy of the trees and the foliage, try and, have that more of a, a solid shape yeah and uh you you've you've um with the reflections you've gone in with a little darker smaller brush on top of the, the initial um wave uh the painting of the waves i think that works as well you know, you've got a you've got a, a flow there going going through um yes very nice well done and kk So uh, quite bright. I, I like the shape of the background buildings, and you kept the the foliage quite cool. Um, uh, I think that works. A, a palm tree sneaked in on the left hand side. The reflection is just a tiny bit overworked, I think, KK. And also, I'm not sure if that darker blue at the bottom works. I would. I think it would look it would have looked better if that was lighter down there is my feeling um but good boat excellent boat figure as well you've got a um a long uh a long skirt for the figure it's always a good good idea if you don't want to do legs <laughs> um have a long uh, skirt or long dress that works well Yes, excellent. Oh, and we've got some power lines as well for a bit of vertical and horizontal interest. Thank you, KK. Uh, Laurent. Yeah, ah, now, now this is very nice. I love the colour of the reflections that you've got. Bit of movement behind the boat. And... These reflections are very, excuse me, are very convincing. Um, it's more solid. You see, I, I, I think some of us, we put in a, a, too many gaps near the shoreline. It needs to be a bit more solid because of the, the riverbank behind it. You kept the background really simple, really, really simple. And, there, and those trees, loosely done, yeah, with a, I guess with a dryish brush, not too much water on the brush. Good figure as well. Maybe that figure's leaning a little bit further back. Perhaps the figure might be leaning more into the middle of the boat, so pushing, pushing those oars. Um, but good size figure and the boat. 
But those those reflections are top notch. Yeah, well done, Lauren. Thank you. Liliana. Uh, so good composition. I think that figure, the the head or the hat could be a little bit larger, but good size, um, a good proportion in relation to the boat. With the reflections, now the reflections on the left-hand side, they look better to me than the ones on the right. I think maybe they're touch overworked and you've just used sort of shorter brush strokes and maybe not too much water. If there was more water on the brush, I think reflections need um, not necessarily a dry brush stroke, but more of a, a wetter like over here, this this is better. Um, and I would also lose these darker blue marks as well. That really doesn't... I guess what's happened is you might have gone in with that softer colour and then thought, well, oh, it needs to be a bit darker. But then by that time, the paint, the paper has dried a bit. So you've got that harder edge around the that second um, application. Try and also with the these waves, try and get in that sort of elliptical shape. Um, so something like, if I can draw it, something like that sort of a shape. I'm, I'm exaggerating a bit, but you see what I mean um, with the, that sort of uh, typical wave shape. Uh, yeah, but very nice, Liliana, nice colours, like the trees. Uh, yeah, excellent. Well done. Thank you. And Lydia. Oh, I like that green. That green is very nice against the um, the paler greeny blues behind and that reddish building. Yes, yeah, a very nice footage. Good figure. That that figure's just the right. You've got that boat length, I think, just right. Um, a lot of us, our boats were a little bit too short, but yours is just right, Lydia. Um, nice reflections. Uh, these these reflections coming towards us, perhaps they could be um, done with a slightly bigger brush, but they're they're good reflections. Good sky, yeah, I like it. Well done, Lydia. Very nice. And Lynn, well, let me just zoom in a bit on this one. Ooh, there we go. <clears throat> Right, that boat might be just a little bit too chunky, a bit too high, just a bit. Um, water's edge. Yeah, I, I suppose it looks so. I was going to say, could it be? Could it look a bit better if it was horizontal? Lose some of these whiter marks as well. Um, just a little bit too many um, lighter bits of the paper showing through and keep those reflections. So I like the reflections, though, coming towards us. The reflections of the figure that, that swirl behind. You've got these um, these softer wave reflections in the bottom left corner. Yeah, they look good as well. Very nice. Yeah, and that and the um, the contrast of that light hat. That hat's just right for that figure. Perfect. Well done, Lynn. Uh, another Lynn. L y n n e. Um, now that figure looks a little bit static to me. I think they could be trying to have that figure leaning forwards in some way or maybe different um, um, angle of the legs just to show some of the effort um, going through there. Uh, I, I like the foliage, the nice, the, the nice uh, shade of green, cooler, a cooler green. Very loosely done, those trees, not overworked. Good background buildings. Um, then a soft transition into the riverbank and uh, the reflections. The reflections um, may be a tiny bit overworked. I think the ones on the right-hand side, I bet you you took less time with the ones on the right-hand side. And they, they actually look a lot better. Uh, particularly these in the middle and, and these on the right hand side. You've just done it once with a brush. Maybe you maybe you, you your right hand you started with the left and you actually got better at it coming over to the right. Um yeah. 
a lot better. Those reflections are a lot better on the right compared to the ones on the left. And again, like I might have mentioned with some other people, I don't think these these bluer marks here, these blue waves, the, the edge could be either softer or not even bother with them. I know I did it in the demo, but I I uh, I my ways were were quite um, quite soft because I've practiced doing those sort of soft soft edges quite a lot. Uh, but nice one, Lynn. Thank you, and um, Mary. That's a quite a long boat. That one. I like the figure. Yeah, did, you've got a different sort of clothing attire on that fig. We got the hand in there. A nice hat, hat uh, showing against that darker background. I like, yeah, these reflections are good. Now those those brush marks there, that's the kind of shape we want. Um, there's a tiny bit of sort of overlapping. I guess you you did did the reflections in two steps perhaps, um, but oh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what's going on here. Did you put down a little bit of? A little bit of fresh water or something like that. It's it's kind of got that soft um, softness in there, which um, is not not ideal. Well, you know, it could be a, it could be a reflection of something, couldn't it? Some something uh, reflecting off of the roof and it's a bit of bright light there. Nice moving though. I love all this going on behind that boat. Brilliant and good color of those reflections as well. Yes, very nice, Mary. Um, very nice indeed. Thank you. And Mark. Right. Now, perhaps the water is just a little bit too light and, and also the figure is a bit too small for the boat size. Now, the boat's very nice. I like what's happening here with the watercolour, this lighter bit drizzling down into the dark a bit and we've got these sort of um ripples this um streaky effect going on there i quite like that uh reflection so yeah the figure needs to be a bit bigger um and stand out a bit more as well and just ease off on some of the overworking in the background foliage so bigger brush and Less, maybe less attention to detail. Um, bit longer brush marks as well, Mark. They're a little bit too. You've 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 got lots of little short brush marks um, on the right hand side here, and also it's a little bit too light um, towards the riverbank. That needs to be a bit more solid. Um, these reflections, these reflections here, in my opinion, are a lot better. You've done them once. There's more water on the brush. You see we've got more dry brush marks on the right-hand side. And I, I don't think they, those, I think, I think these reflections, you need to have a brush with a good bit of water on it. Um, take the, also take the paint over the edge of the paper. Don't have that sort of white gap there down, down the sides. But thank you, Mark. Uh, Mary L., Yeah, uh, I I like the reflections. Again, perhaps a little bit could be a little bit more of a solid transition from the river bank to the to the river. Uh, but I like these reflections, the movement in that figure. Good colours. The green's not sort of too too vibrant. Um, just just the right kind of shade there. Possibly the trees might be. A tiny bit overworked so just ease off on that maybe try and do it all in one go with the same with the same sort of brush uh, but good reflections and that movement as well behind yep very good well done Mary Mary Ann good trees I like that that uh, tree on the right hand side the figure is, yes, yeah, good. Perhaps the hat could be a tiny bit brighter. Um, boat a little bit longer, but it's, it's a nice boat. Good reflections, though. Nice colour in those reflections. 
movement. We've got the movement there behind the boat. Uh, yes, yeah, so there could be perhaps on the on the riverbank just a few more little bits of vertical interest, some posts or poles or that sort of thing, um, just to add a little bit more interest in there. But it's a very nice, very nice painting, particularly on that tree on the right hand side. Yeah, well done, Marianne. Um, Mike. Very vibrant. It's got a nice style about this. Uh, you've made more of a feature of that boat on the uh, on the riverbank. Um, you, I can see you've you put a, a lot of effort into that. I would, I think some of these trees are a little bit overworked. Perhaps the background just a little bit too colourful. Um, could be a bit more sort of subdued. Um, I think that tree there, if you had a bigger brush, Mike, that might work a bit better. Good figure though. Good movement, um, and the the waves, the uh, reflections in the background. Yeah, well done. Uh, Mim, let's just zoom in on this one. A bit more, there we go. Right, nice loose background. Good contrast of that um, hat against the background. Uh, boat might be just a little bit too high up above the river. Reflections though, good colour, nice shape to them, <clears throat> excuse me, nice shape to them, and nice soft waves in this bottom left-hand corner. I like those a lot. That, that's, yeah, they are very realistic. I like them. Uh, yeah, good foliage, nice and loose uh, background buildings. Beautiful. Thank you. Mim. Uh, next up, Nancy. Uh, thanks, Nancy, for framing this so nicely with that. Uh, looks like a, is that a double or triple mount? Very nice. Very um, striking. Does show off the painting a lot. Uh, yeah, we've got a, a lot of movement with this sort of circular pattern behind the boat. Uh, perhaps um, too much white paint, in my opinion, here, Nancy, um, in the particularly in this middle area here, uh, it doesn't it doesn't really need it. I think if if we'd have seen this without the white, I presume we did the white paint towards the end. Um, but if we'd have seen this, if we'd have seen this painting just before, then I I think that might have looked a bit fresher. Uh, background trees, tiny bit overworked. Use a bigger brush. Um, but they're it's a, they're a good shade of green and a nice nice background. That figure is very good. Yeah, like the figure, um, and good size of figure in relation to the boat. And did we got that reflection in there? Yep, yeah, well done, Nancy. Thank you. Oh, another Nancy. That's, that's Nancy. <coughs> excuse me, Nancy K. And another Nancy here. Uh, yes, a good composition. I like the, you've made the riverbank um, maybe a little bit higher, and I think that works. Um, good loose trees. I think this photograph might be a little bit too dark. I'm sure your painting's a bit brighter than this. Like the reflections, but go... Use a slightly bigger brush maybe for these reflections as we come towards us. Nice, soft reflections in the bottom left corner there. Good figure. Very good figure. And boat. And the movement of reflections there behind. Yep, well done, Nancy. Uh, Pablo. So I, I think, Pablo, your paint might be just a little bit too thick and use a bigger brush as well. Um, I can see with the trees, maybe these brush marks are a little bit too small. Perhaps if you used a bigger brush and just ease off on some of the overworking, don't overdo it with the, uh, the paint in the, particularly on the riverbank there, but nice figure. Good figure, size figure in relation to the boat. Uh, the 
yes, and you've got the top of that boat just encroaching a little bit on that. That looks quite nice. That that the fact that they're connected, I think, from a composition point of view, works. Good color of the re reflections, but I think this area here needs to be. We need more reflections in this area here, just to make it a little bit more realistic and give it that sort of more watery feeling and also a shadow uh, a bit of a dark shadow underneath the the bow of that boat well done pablo thank you and pam p-a-w-m-e like it those reflections are beautiful quite it's fresh nothing overworked there um, different colors, different values in those, um, in those reflections. Background, very good. Great contrast, that hat against the darker background. Maybe these oars might be a tiny bit too thick up here, this top part. Uh, but the color, the colors, that blue, this blue here, in the shadow and the warmth of some of those reflections like it yeah very fresh thank you Pam and Pat Let's zoom in here a little bit more yeah great figure good figure in, this, in relation to the boat your boat may be um, I think had a, a flat um, front bow to it but yours works um with that that pointed bow yeah i like the background buildings like your trees that tree leaning over this right hand one leaning into the composition was a always a good idea something on that right hand side leaning in that like could be um a post or a tree uh, in this case or, or figures or s some some structure i'm um, very good reflections um, I think they're, they're just a, a little bit overdone, Pat, just a tiny bit. Uh, but they are, we certainly got that movement behind the boat, which is what we're after. Um, I think it's the right colour of reflections as well. And a nice sort of slightly darker valley in that bottom left-hand corner. Yes, so well done, Pat. Um, Pete. Uh, a peak came on screen. Oh, what, what we what we often do with our um, monthly workshops is invite people on screen towards the end, so you can hold up your picture to the camera. We can all take a look at um, at that picture on the event, as well as well as the, these critics here, um, actually on, live on the event. Uh, for those that want to, you don't have to. For those that want to, they can show off their pictures. So it's great to see this one now in the flesh. Sometimes when you when you do these live presentations, the, the resolution can't be too brilliant, but this is nice. Uh, good, solid reflection, good movement in the background there. Um, maybe tiny bit messy here, Pete. Um, tiny bit sort of overdone where we've got the transition from the boat into the water. Just lost a little bit of the, the freshness there, but I like that figure. That's a beautiful figure. You've done that. That shadow, that figure once, not mucked about with it, left it. That the, the trousers, the legs are very, very good as well. Yeah, foliage, these trees. Uh, perhaps the paint could be a little bit more water in it so it's not too thick. Yes, very nice. Well done, Pete. Thank you. And Ravi B. Yep. Um, another nice long boat again, good size figure in relation to the boat. Now these reflections, we need to close up some of these, these lines. There's just a little bit too many white bits of the paper showing. We need to make it a bit more solid. So I would say, um, bigger, um, a bigger brush here and also try and avoid the, this sort of shape of, of the reflections as well. All right. Go for that more of that elliptical shape or when we press down with the brush, a nice brush with a, it's got a good body to it. Um, we, we start by 
pressing down the paper ever so slight, lightly, and then we hold down the brush a bit more so we get a thicker line, and then ease off on the brush so we get that kind of elliptical shape and trying to keep it fairly horizontal, um, not this sort of not this sort of shape there. Uh, but good composition, well done, Ray. Nice, nice colours as well. Good, um, good foliage colour, also. Thank you, Rhonda. So we've got the boat just a little bit lower in the composition, but that still works for me. Uh, now the a lot of this is just a little bit um, overworked, I think. Think, and it's gone a bit sort of a tiny bit muddy but ever so slightly uh, but you've got that that figure though is really well drawn I actually quite like that you picked up on the shape with the with the pen there um, watch with the hat being not too big for the size of figure but good boat um, good reflection as well but just a, a tiny bit um overworked here so try and keep it fresh Rhonda okay uh, and Ricard yes a nice, it's got a nice sort of serene feeling to it um, almost like this person's on a lake uh, I would try and keep reflections a bit more solid particularly between the boat and the water um, there, there probably wouldn't be any any sort of sky showing through there. The figure is all right, but watch that. This this area here below the hat, I have the shoulders. The back would be for that kind of figure. Well, the hat's a little bit too big, but for that kind of figure, the back is going to be like that. So we wouldn't have that space there. Uh, good boat though, nice composition. Yeah, and I, I like the reflections. You've got that, you've got the movement there, Ricard. Thank you very much. And Rosa. Oh, you've, you've got the figure turned slightly in towards the riverbank. And I like, I like the way that you've done the buildings in the background as well. They've got a nice sort of repetition of those windows. They're not, they're not overdone. Good foliage, good trees, nice green there. I like the sky as well. Uh, maybe with the reflections, they could be a little bit thicker. And also, I'm not sure about the movement of the water behind the boat. Uh, I don't think these softer shapes, these softer lines here work. Uh, and be careful with that white paint. Just to use off a little bit on the white paint. But I, I love that figure. Just turning slightly. It's almost like that figure's just um, done an effort with, with rowing forwards and now just letting the boat glide if glide forwards. Yeah, well done, Rosa and Rosella. Uh, yeah. Good reflections, movement, nice figure. Maybe that oar is curving just a tiny bit. We need a, I think we need a straight line for that oar. Uh, good background. Uh, I particularly like some of these buildings. You've kept them nice and soft and light. So it pushes them, it pushes them back. Good reflection as well. Be careful going over them a couple of times. Keep it, try and keep it fresh. Try and do it all in one. Yep, thanks, Rosella. And Sheila L. Oh, I like the colours in this one. I like the, uh, the sort of brownish greens that you've got on the bank. I would have less, less of these little bits of the paper showing through there, Sheila, but nice figure. Uh, watch with the hat, making sure the hat sort of sits firmly on the head uh, and being a bit more symmetrical, but nice size figure in relation to the boat. We've got the movement. Very good reflections as well. Uh, just, yeah, that, those, those reflections behind are very good. Certainly we feel the boat going forwards. And nice trees as well, not overly done. Well done, Sheila. And Shiva, Shiva Kuma. Yes, 
good composition. Now this boat looks like it's floating a little bit and those legs need to be, the legs need to come into the boat, not on that, on that far edge. So um, just try and um, get the drawing right before you, you, uh, you, you crack on with the painting. So I think if the reflections were maybe darker, that would cement that boat. That would connect that boat more to the water. And the water's edge, the buildings are a little bit too low in comparison to the water's edge. It looks like, again, that they could be susceptible to flooding. I like the green, though, the way that you've done the green. Kept that nice and loose, transparent. We can see some of the building rooftops um, behind that green. Yes, well done, Shiva and Sun Suniti. Let's zoom in on this one a bit. Uh, we've got a bit of a we've got a bit of a downhill section here. That's going down a little bit. Could be. I'm not sure if it's the angle of your photograph. We need to keep the bank fairly horizontal, maybe sloping slightly, ever so slightly, top left to bottom right. Uh, tiny bit overworked with the bank. Um, try and go. Try and um, push push in a bit more colour into this and these these reflections i think the brush maybe is a little bit too small so it looks like it's a tiny bit overworked good figure though boat needs to be a bit bigger a bit longer um and but you've got the reflection the movement and the reflections behind yes thank you suniti and susan Right, you've you've pushed the horizon right up, so we've got lots of room to play with the reflections down in the down the bottom. I'm not sure those reflection shapes work for me. I like the colour. I like the colour in those reflections, Susan. But there, there just needs to be more of a a thought to the shape of these um, reflections and more of a solidity as well. So less bits of the paper showing through. But you've got the movement. We've got a sense of the movement behind and nice and loose in the background as well. Yes, I, I quite like, and that's a yellowish sky. Looks quite um, quite warm, uh, which of course it would be. Um, a good idea having the horizon. The horizon's probably up on along that, that line there. Yeah, well done, Susan and Sylvia. Oh, different dimensions to the paper. We've got a long... Uh, uh, like a widescreen here. Um, very nice dimensions. I like it. Good idea. Uh, kind of, we can then sort of play on that sort of horizontal, all these horizontals, the buildings, the riverbank, the boat. Um, we can't see, I think with this detail, we can't really see too much what's going on. I like the reflections. They're not overworked. The figure, the hat might need to be a little bit bigger. Um, and more of a pointy top, more of a pointy top to it. Uh, but very, I really do like your your idea. Also, what's very good is the foliage on the on the riverbank. Lots of soft edges. We feel the fluffiness of the foliage and the dark transition. A nice soft transition from the dark into the uh, the reflection on the river. Beautiful. Thank you, Sylvia and Theo. Yep, you've you've gone for the dark um, background. Really works. Keeping it simple, just keep, keep limited palette there. With the reflections, I think, as with some other people, if you had a bit more water on your brush, that would give us some better reflection marks but i do like the color that you got in there theo it's very nice and that boat almost disappears into the foliage in the background yes uh very nice nice and fresh well done and todd i oh, like, like somebody else it looks like we're looking down on the scene a little bit here i guess with the shape of the the waves in the in the bottom left hand corner and the angle of the waterline. Uh, it's very loose. Uh, 
tiny bit overworked on the riverbank um, and the figure as well. Try and keep things fresh. Uh, yes, with the hat, they want to try and keep that. Nut well, the hat's a good size, but we want to try and keep it a little bit lighter. Looks as if we've got some pencil lines showing through or some darker marks in there. Uh, but a good figure size in relation to the boat. We've got that movement coming forwards. Um, but like the riverbank, the reflections are a little bit overworked. And those dry brush marks, they don't really work in, in some of these water reflections here. Uh, those reflections here, though, Todd, this, this reflection of the figure, I like those. Uh, but just... Um, Yes, had a little bit overworked uh, in, in some of the places. Well done, Todd. And Tony R. Yeah, very precisely drawn background. Maybe a little bit too perfect. We want it to be, um, you know, some, some buildings a uh, little bit run down, you know, um, maybe, um, you know, to, just to, to show the, the age of them as well. Uh, but nice composition. Brilliant figure, that figure, and the, the length of that boat, just right. Like the reflections, you haven't gone for my style of reflections. More, you've, you've thought more about these reflections, but they really work. And, and also that movement as well. Very, very nice. Yeah, good colours, like the green, the greens of the foliage. Sky, nice and plain. Yeah, nice one, Tony. Well, I hoped you liked that compilation of the Tendi paintings, those people that uh, sent in their paintings. Hopefully I captured everyone there. This is the next workshop, down on the farm, a farm scene near to me. Quite a lot of greens here. We, I've been talking a lot about greens um, in the, the Tendi paintings from the May workshop. So this is June 2021, down on the farm, a moody sky, dark sky, uh, lots of greens here, fresh sort of late spring growth. I would say this, this picture was taken a month or so ago, uh, but an old barn here, lot, very dark within the recess of that barn, a puddle in front of the barn, a reflection as well, the tire marks from a tractor. But it's all about different greens and trying to get the sense of distance as well depth in the painting and uh, that moody sky and reflection no figures in this one we don't know how to put a figure in it um, no complicated shapes no complicated perspective but a nice rural scene and I think I've got this is my practice sketch I might introduce a few changes when I when I do it live with everyone but for more details of this and other workshops, just uh, please go up to crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot. You'll see all of the details of that. Also, you can get, get the details uh, from my website, timwilmot.com, T-I-M-W-I-L-M-O-T.com. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked those attendee paintings. Look forward to getting your comments. Catch up with you soon on the next demo video.